Today we're going to go over how to make tables and graphs in Excel. So let's say you get this data set from somebody at work. You need to make a chart or a graph. Easiest way is you pick what you want and you're going to select it. So we pick this. We want months and we want sales. So we do this. We can either select all of it or you can click one and then hold control. Select the other. Then you go right up top to insert. Click that. Then you're going to go to a couple different options. In the middle it says charts. You can pick recommended charts. That's usually how I start. Or you can pick the specific one you want. So maybe we want a bar graph. Click this. It gives you a bunch of options. You can just move along. It'll let you see them. So let's pick this one. That's how we get a nice little chart in here. So we can do that. And there's a few other formatting things you can do. Click on this right here on chart design. This drop down and it gives you a bunch of pre-formatted uh, selections for formatting. Maybe we want to put the dollar amounts here. You click this, you'll see they all highlight. Then right click it once. And then you can pick add data labels. And there they are. And if you want these to be spread out or changed a little bit, you can always just click one. It highlights them all. Right click again. Then format data labels. And on the right here, there's a bunch of different things that pop up. So if you want to change this, maybe we want it to be accounting. There, it'll add the dollar signs, change the formatting a little bit so it's more like numbers in terms of a, a balance sheet. And you can also do other things here like uh, text options. You can change the colors. You can change how they're aligned. It's just important to play around with them. But on label options here, you can do this. And if you go around here, there's a bunch of different options in terms of colors. You can make borders on them, all of that stuff. Uh, really, you can play around and make it show whatever you want it to do. You can click them here, drag them, move this up there, for example, this one here, that one there, and so on. But that's how you make a quick little graph. You can do the same with the chart. Maybe we want to do something where it shows all of this. You select it all. Insert again. I do recommended charts. And it's going to suggest this one, a combo chart. So we click OK. And we'll just overlay it on the other one so we don't confuse them. Chart design, we'll pick this one we want here. And we'll say, if we want to change this title, you double click here. Sales data. And we'll click this. And again, with our data points, right click, add data labels. And we've got our percentage changes here. You'll see that sales, the total amount, which is represented here and then growth, which is represented right here. So you can do that, and that's called a combo chart. So it's one of the fun little ones you can do. And if you click here, you'll see that it highlights the data you want, growth and the month. And here, you'll see that these two will be highlighted. And there they are. And that's how to do charts and graphs. And if you want to add a table, the last thing you can do is click anywhere in the data, insert, and table. It's going to select what it thinks is that range. You can check it here and does my table have headers? Yes, it does have labels on the top. Click OK. There's a table. Now if we add another one, so let's say January, you'll see that it will fall, um, expand the table downward. And we can maybe copy this. And you'll see that it is on the, um, it's got the same formatting. We can widen that out. And this will go here. And if we select this, You'll see that it did follow and it updated the new information in the table. 100,000, 100,000, 22%, 22%. And that's it.